lights in the fountain, each one seeking happiness. Thrown by three hopeful lovers, which one will the fountain bless? Three coins in the fountain, through the ripples how they shine. Just one wish will be granted, one heart will wear our valentine. Make it mine, make it mine, make it mine. Santa. Mi scusi tanto vuoi? ancora. Chiamo polizia. You're Maggie Wilson, aren't you? Well, yes. How did you know? Well, Dorothy said look for a cute blonde, a crowd of men, and there you be. <laughs> well, you must be rude. Yes. Well, I have a surprise for Dorothy. I've sworn off. Sworn off what? Oh, men, sex, all that sort of thing. <laughs> well, that's why I've taken this job and come here. To forget. You came to Italy to forget men? <laughs> After all, I, I broke my engagement, so I thought I would... <gasps> Somebody pinched me! Welcome to Italy, Miss Wilson. You're in for quite an education. <laughs> How far is it to the apartment? Well, that depends. It's 10 minutes every walk, 20 minutes every drive, and half an hour by telephone. <laughs> Watch my car. Bye. Somebody may be let out to die, signorina. Terrible neighborhood here. <laughs> I drive it to my friend's garage. Only 200 liters. Okay? If the air is let out of my tires, or if my hubcaps are missing, or if my car is missing, I'm gonna call the police. Now, do you understand? Polizia. Police? I let that out to dead tires. Buongiorno, <laughs> signorina. <laughs> Okay? Uh huh. In here? Uh huh. And there. Secretaries are stuffed with the palaces. <laughs> now, take a look at the view. The Colosseum! Rose, it's beautiful. Oh, my. And to think back in Washington, I was living at the YWCA. What is the thing? Oh? I mean, it's quiet, convenient, dignified. And the last man to spend the night here was Julius Caesar. <laughs> Dorothy? You recognized her. <laughs> She's put on a little weight. Dorothy! 
thought of before. Stop breathing. <laughs> what? This is quite a dress. Maggie, are you sure that you've sworn off? Sworn off what? I've given up men. For Lance? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> That's one diet I'll never go on. <laughs> I was engaged and, and, well, you know, we had a fight. So I want to forget. Well, that's really why I jumped at the chance when you wrote you could get me this job in Rome. That's sensible. If you want to forget fish, you just get a job in the aquarium. <laughs> Where are the cigarettes? Well, I put three packs in there yesterday. What's the matter? Well, um, I wasn't going to mention this, but we don't have any electricity in the kitchen. The fuses are missing. Oh, no. What is it? Oh, it's just a superstition they told us about when we rented the place. What are you talking about? Caesar's ghost. What? Well, they say Brutus planned Caesar's murder here on this hill. Just about where you're sitting. This ghost returns every night. For fuses? <laughs> oh, it is, We don't leave a word out of it, do we? <laughs> oh, we take turns not believing. <laughs> Almost every day something's missing. Some little thing. An ashtray, a lump of bread, a bottle of iodine. <laughs> My pot! <laughs> oh, for a minute there, I thought it was Caesar's ghost. <laughs> Vamos, ciao, adio, 
I scoop, jack, bye bye, arrivederci. Beat it. And don't you dare come back. If we catch you back in here one more time, it's Chiamo 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 Chiamo. 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 You speak Italian very good, lady. Grazie and get up. Okay, okay. All right, if I take apple? Gino, come back. Is your apple? <laughs> no, it isn't. I just want to ask you something. Okay. Well, why did you take that blanket and pillow out of the closet? Maybe I sell someplace. Well, if you were going to sell them, why did you put them on the couch? Gino, have you been sleeping on the couch every night? I know like hotels. I don't believe that. We have never seen any sign. I get up early in the morning, lady. Before I hear you stop snoring. Me? Somebody here snores like a horse. Gino, where are your mother and father? My mother... She got big job in Milano, Firenze, all over. Where's your father? It's my mother's job, looking for my father. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but why don't we let Gino keep on sleeping here? Even if it does cost a few ashtrays. Oh, Maggie, if we took in every stray child off the street... Well, I think he's something very special. It's an act, Maggie. What do you think, Dorothy? Me? I'm just a plumber here. And look, we're all paying for this place equally, so why don't we take a vote to see if he can stay? That's fine with me. Fine with me, Tip? It's not fine with me. Listen, I have plenty places to sleep. In the park, on the roof, plenty places. I have friends, too. Many friends. I don't want to stay here when I have no friends. I don't know about you, but I need a cigarette. Wilson, I believe she works here. Why, that's me. You will pardon me. I am the clumsy person who stumbled into you at the Stazione Termini yesterday. Oh, yes. I didn't know you spoke English. It was such confusion. I did not remember what I spoke. You dropped everything. I dropped everything. <laughs> I believe that I was staring at you. In Italy, it is quite good manners to stare at the beautiful woman. <laughs> Well, you didn't have to come all the way up here just to apologize. It's not that. In the excitement, I mistakenly picked up something which belongs to you. I found this address in it. My wallet! Oh, I could kiss you. Oh, really? I'm um, thank you very much. As an Italian, I prefer your first statement. It's just that it involves so much I couldn't explain. I'm very, very grateful. Dorothy, did you see? Yeah. I ought to run right out and buy that Gino a whole basket full of apples. Uh, excuse me, before I leave, do you wish to count the money? Oh, no, I don't think it... Yes, I, I think I would. You have not been in it very long, Miss Wilson. Since yesterday. But you know already that Italian men are not to be trusted. Oh, I, I didn't mean it to sound like that. I, I can't tell you how much I thank you. And perhaps you will allow me to show you that Rome is not what you think it is. No, right, Italian man. Are you trying to make a date with me? Is my English that bad? No, your attitude is so American, I'm a little surprised. Do not misunderstand me. I'm not suggesting an alliance. Well, whoever said you were? What's an alliance? American women think when an Italian invites them to dinner, she is to be the dessert. <laughs> I assure you, I've caused you an inconvenience. I've been a bore. I would merely like to make it up to you in some small way. 
Well, thank you very much, but you see, I'm not going out with men anymore. Who is it? Who else is there? <laughs> no, I mean, it's... I've had a very unhappy experience. I understand. I, too, have recently had such an experience. A woman I was very much in love with. In fact, I promised myself never again to become involved. You swore off, too? <laughs> that is an American expression? <laughs> the most American there is. Indeed, Miss Wilson. I swore off. You know, I just realized I don't even know your name. Oh, you must forgive me for being so forgetful. Uh, I am the Conte Giorgio D'Alessio. Conte? Yes. Does that mean you're a count? I'm afraid so. Arrivederla, Miss Wilson. No, just a minute. Yes? Uh, since we both swore enough, what possible harm could there be? Tomorrow is Saturday. I will pick you up at noon, and perhaps we'll find out. 47, Via de... Via della Croce, you must remember. I was forced to look through your wallet. My goodness, you must know everything about me, from my license, even my weight. Even your sex. <laughs> <laughs> from your license, of course. <laughs> There is so much to see in Rome. I have taken my fastest car. ago, the gladiators staged their games here for the emperors and many thousands of Romans. And it's also where they fed the Christians to the lions. <laughs> Is he an Italian lion? No. He will eat anybody. <laughs> now we will go visit the Campidoglio, which was designed by Michelangelo. Oh, good. I've always loved Charlton Heston. <laughs> Ecco Roma. This is the center of Rome, the capital line hill. Who's the man on the horse? Michelangelo? No, no, it's Marcus Aurelius. And there is a story that when the horse and the rider turn complete to gold, the day of the last judgment is at hand. Please don't let them turn to gold yet. I just got here. There is no great danger. The statue is brass. In Rome, only the legends are golden. They're lovely legends. Yes. If this is to be the day of the last judgment, I would not spend it any other way. I certainly did come to the aquarium. <laughs> This is the villa of the Knights of Malta. 
but you are not allowed to go in. You must look through the keyhole. Why? What's going on in there? Are you sure it's all right? What's going on in there has been going on for 500 years. Well, in Rome, that's no guarantee. <laughs> oh, St. Peter's. Georgia, it's beautiful. Oh, yes, it is beautiful. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to look? I am. <laughs> by the phone and you just keep looking. Now, how can we lose a 98-pound girl? <laughs> this is the most beautiful time of night to be in the forum. Night? It's almost morning. Time stands still here in this cradle of democracy. Here, history was born. Destinies of the world were shaped. On this very spot, Brutus stabbed Caesar. Oh, you said he was stabbed over there. Well, yes, he was stabbed several times. <laughs> me, I got to talk with him. You know each other? He's my friend, and my friend has got trouble. Ah, Tito, what do you want, Gino? Signor Zaccardi wants his car. Tonight, all of a sudden. <laughs> he called Giuseppe at garage. Giuseppe tell me find Giorgio. I look all over. One hour, two hours, two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> you have good time with my friend, eh, lady? <laughs> what garage are you talking about? Giorgio's. Best cash in Roma. Body, fender, everything. You got body trouble? Giorgio fix. I'll bet. <laughs> Count, Giorgio. Oh, please, let me explain. It, it wasn't even your car. I was going to explain at the proper time. I felt it was the only way I could get you to go out with me. Please, you must understand. Oh! I don't think she understands. Vedi cos'è combinato, piccolo demonio? Andiamo, dai, andiamo. Cassie! You're making a mistake. Just have to give Rome another chance. I can't. It'll only happen again. So what? You'll learn. Never. I'm too susceptible. This city's no good for me. All soft lights and sweet music. And sunshine and moonlight. And statues turning to gold. And fountains and flowers. <laughs> and every Italian street cleaner looks like Cary Grant. <laughs> Where? I'll take him, broom and all. <laughs> Avanti. Hey, lady. I don't like what you do 
to my friend. Well, I know like what you friend do to my friend. You should be careful with American ladies. They only want to go out with big men. A prince, a count, a duke. He's no more, lady. Signorina Grace Kelly, she get last one. <laughs> now, Gino, can't you see Maggie's upset already? Upset? You want to see upset? Go see Giorgio. He in love with you, lady. Why? I don't know. You very skinny. <laughs> Gino, people don't fall in love that quickly. Now, did he send you here to tell me that? No. But Giorgio, my friend, when he see you first time, you look so good to him. What should he do? He come to you saying, Hey, lady, I got nice garage. This car is very good. You have dinner with me? No. You are my Ghana. He say, I can't arrest you. With the car, try the way you go to dinner. Boom, kiss, come on. God bless America. <laughs> It wasn't quite like that. Look, I like America. Someday, maybe Gina will go to New York. Make 200 liters. Not let that appetize. But in America, maybe don't go out with men who own Well, of course we do, but... But why did he have to lie? You never tell a lie to get something you want very bad. Oh, you think you are, lady? George Washington? <laughs> Always got a point. Molto intelligente. No, my stupid old. Look at trouble I give my friend Giorgio. He like you, lady. So now we get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you happy? No, Gino. I'm very unhappy. In Italy, you cannot stay unhappy. Here, Giorgio's garage. You take your car there for gasoline sometime. I get commission and you get discount, because George will think you're beautiful. <laughs> to me, you're very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Gino, we know you're down there, so don't pretend you can't hear us. It's all right, Gino. We all took a vote and we want you to stay here. Do you think he heard you? Oh, he hears everything. <laughs> Good night, Joe. Night, night, Pop. Good night, Gino. Gino? Gino, I just want you to know that you have friends here. And I thank you very, very much. Gino? Much lady. Thank you. 